it turns out there's a little bit more drama coming out of the White House. Uh, big surprise. Uh, this time, it's between Donald Trump and his Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson. Now, this is according to officials inside and close to the White House. Uh, President Trump has been growing increasingly frustrated with his own Secretary of State. <laughs> so, hey, look, you know, guys, we've seen this movie before. It normally ends very badly. Okay. Now, that doesn't mean that he's out yet. It doesn't mean he's necessarily going to be fired. But it seems to be like there's another option here. Okay. Now, uh, recalling one recent incident, a source said that Donald Trump, after returning from a meeting in Afghanistan, uh, went after Tillerson for essentially being the establishment. Quote, Rex just doesn't get it. He's totally establishment in his thinking. Hmm. And what we know from Trump, apparently he's not a friend of the establishment, right? Or he, so he claims. Now, there's more. Now, this is according to Axios. Trump administra uh, administration officials cannot get their heads around why he still doesn't have political appointees in top roles at the State Department. They know he's reorganizing the agency, but can't fathom why he's allowed crucial jobs to remain in the hands of staff whose diplomatic stature is diminished because they're simply acting in the roles. So he's not filling it with qualified people, okay? Now, um, of course, look, why fill it with qualified people if you're going to fire them later? See, the Trump budget has the State Department cut by over 37%, okay? So why, fi why hire people if you're just going to have to fire them because you don't have, you know, money to pay them, okay? Because they don't plan on paying them. Now, there's another reason here, and it's just like a, a, a lot of Trump's pick. Tillerson is not there to build out the State Department, to be more effective, to do more. He's actually there to essentially shrink and eliminate the agency, to dismantle it, um, while turning what's left of it over to nothing more than a promotional video, or, or not promotional video, but a promotional agency uh, for oil and gas. So, now look, Hillary Clinton, I... Look, when she was at the State Department, she used the State Department to go and push fracking on other countries. So this is what Rex Tillerson, his ultimate goal is to say, well, I was a former CEO of ExxonMobil. And when I'm done with this, I can go back to being the CEO of ExxonMobil. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push oil deals while I'm here. And specifically oil deals with Russia. Hmm. Uh, now... Like I said, I criticized Hillary Clinton for that, so now I'm criticizing Rex Tillerson for that as well, because he's not only doing what Hillary Clinton had done, but with uh, oil and gas, but he's actually trying to do that on steroids, and that's what he's there for. There's more. Uh, Tillerson also contradicted the president's response on recent tensions over Qatar. Trump uh, attacked Qatar for funding terrorism at a very high level and supported the Saudi-led blockade. Now, if there's one rule out there, it's don't go against Donald Trump. Do not contradict him. Now, Tillerson also argued against the White House's financial sanctions uh, against the dictatorial regime in Venezuela. Now, these sources also pointed out to the influence on Tillerson of a man named Tom Shannon. Now, top, uh, Tom Shannon is a top state careerist who seems to be an ex uh, expert on Latin America. Sources close to the president view Shannon as a rogue force who, in their view, naively puts too much faith in diplomacy at the expense of hardline actions like sanctions. So, not only that, but of course, Tillerson uh, opposes Trump on what to do with Iran. Uh, he says, uh, they say that uh, Tillerson keeps recommending to Trump that he recertify Iran's compliance with the nuclear deal. Trump, of course, has made statements saying, I want to rip up the Iran deal and I'm okay with going to war. So let's go to war with Iran. Now, all that stuff is important. But I think the biggest factor here is Tillerson's response to Charlottesville, of all places. Uh, and I want to show you that video. Uh, this was uh, on Fox News Sunday. Let's take a look. Does that make it harder for you to push American values around the world when some foreign leaders question the president's values? 
Uh, Chris, we express America's values from the State Department. We represent the American people. We represent America's values, our commitment to freedom, our commitment to equal treatment of people the world over, and that message has never changed. And when the president gets into the kind of controversy he does and the U.N. committee responds the way he does, it seems to say they, they begin to doubt our, whether we're living those values. I don't believe anyone doubts the American people's values or the commitment of the American government or the government's agencies to advancing those values and defending those values. And, and the president's values? The president speaks for himself, Chris. Are you separating yourself from that, sir? I've spoken, I've made my own comments as to our values as well in a speech I gave to the State Department this past week. I'm not, I'm just not going to say anything about the president's values. Oh, well, he can speak for himself. I've already spoken for myself. I'm not going to defend him. Are you asking me to defend him? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I, I made my own statements earlier. That right there is what we call a cardinal sin. You failed to defend Donald Trump. And you know, look, we know Donald Trump. He was watching. He watches all this cable news. Okay, <laughs> and if you don't defend him on TV and you're part of the administration, you might have a little bit of a problem. And that alone isn't enough to guarantee that he gets fired or so that he's pushed to resign or anything. But you take all the other little things and you add them up together and lump them in with this. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, now, of course, look, the White House denies there are any problems. No, no, no. Uh, Tillerson and Trump get along beautifully. Uh, in fact, uh, they work together uh, so wonderfully and they're going to do great things together. They're going to make America great again. But look, how many times have we heard that? This is your normal song and dance that you hear from the Trump administration. Like how many times have we heard that? Oh, no, Ron's Priebus and, and uh, Donald Trump, President Trump, they get along beautifully. What are you talking about? And then he's out the next day. <laughs> or uh, Sean Spicer... Oh, no, Spicer insists he, he's staying on. It's not going to change. Oh, look at that. Spicer's gone. He's now among the bushes. We've heard this before. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just putting it out there that that's certainly a chance that Tillerson is on his way out. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.